activity means that the timeline for your large scale re-derivation project is variable as well. So when it comes to key considerations for selecting a commercial partner, um, I've been looking for kind of a simple system of, of how to talk through this. And I think the five W's really kind of gives us that. So you really need to kind of consider these five points, what, where, when, who, and how. And I've added an additional one on there of how much, because that's always kind of one of the key questions. So what we're going to do is we're going to work through each of these points. And like I say, although there's going to be a focus on large scale re-derivation programs, a lot of the points that we're going to touch on are relevant for re-deriving one or two lines. So we're going to start off with when, because defining your objective is really your starting point. And that's really the responsibility of you as the research facility. So in order to define your objective, you need to consider the species that you have in your facility or the species that you're looking to re-derive. And the specifics of those lines, so are there any complex phenotypes associated with the lines? Things like um, homozygous lethal um, or what else could it be? So uh, poor breeding for performance, something along those lines. Um, and the type of service that you require as a consequence. So with a particularly complex line, you might require a certain type of service, whereas with another line, you might only require, um, you might require a different type of service. So you really need to define exactly what you're looking for. And once you've considered that, you've defined your objective. So hopefully at that point, you have an indication if you're doing large scale of, I have 100 mouth lines that I need to sperm cryopreserve, and then I have um, 80 mouth lines that I need to sperm revitalize, for example. Maybe because actually 20 of those lines, you just want to maintain in cryo storage. So really, you're looking to get numbers out at that point. And that's when you want to start talking to a commercial partner. So your commercial partner should be able to define a timeline for you from that information, considering their capacity. And what that should lead to is a bit of a feedback loop. So when it comes to defining the timeline, it's not a case of you define the objective, your commercial partner defines kind of what's logistically possible, and that's your timeline. There really needs to be that feedback so that you as the research facility can consider any practical limitations on your end. Because what you might find is actually the commercial partner's capacity is much larger than yours. So for example, um, perhaps they suggest freezing down 30 lines per week, um, when in reality, you don't have the manpower to be able to pack 30 lines of 30 colonies per week for transport to your commercial partner. So it's important to consider what your practical limitations are. And this is the case too for smaller projects. So perhaps there's some kind of local legislation that means that internally you need to apply for a permit, for example, to transport the animals. Um, there might be a process you need to go through internally that actually means the timeline your commercial partner provided you doesn't fit with your requirements. So that really needs to be a back and forth conversation. But at some point, hopefully you should establish a timeline. And that timeline, certainly when it comes to large scale re-derivation, should fit with your expectations for um, the building of your facility. In reality, the process of crowd preserving lines down is a very, very quick one. So it's highly unlikely that's going to hold up any plans that you have to get rid of your old facility and start constructing your new facility. Um, but when it comes to kind of phase three, that's really going to be dictated by how long your construction takes and when your new facility is up and running. So although the timeline can be subject to change, it's really important that you have 
A, that each of these phases is quite clearly defined um, and that you have...